really, really sad about this entire situation involving Victor Fitz and the uh, Vandalia clerk down here. Um, you know, these guys knew that my cousin Sandy Robinson stayed across the street. Sandy Northrop, you know, she stayed across the street from where the voting place is in Vandalia, Michigan, where all this stuff occurred about the um, writing my name in the ballot and all that. It's disgusting when you stand back and think about it that we can't civilly deal with people. It's a malicious prosecution. And I'm just, I, I tried my best to give Victor Fitz the benefit of the doubt. Like he wouldn't, you know, maliciously go after me like that, especially with what happened in Bremerton. I tried my best not to think that him or any of his people were involved in any of this. But it's getting harder and harder for me to see it that way especially when the evidence keeps mounting up against him and knowing what happened at um, Pets Alive and with my mom, especially when her death was reported in the newspaper as being under investigation. So we've got all that going on along with these people wrongfully removing my daughter. They fabricated uh, the situation and they were really sloppy about it too. So I'm just wondering what's going to happen from here because my daughter's still missing and these people aren't doing anything to try and help. You know, that's an issue for a prosecutor. When I've sat here and given the documentation and the paperwork and it's blatantly clear that my daughter was wrongfully removed. This is a lot of the reason that people are, have so much animosity towards the system. It's sad. It really is. The people that are hurting are the innocent victims. That's me and my daughter and my and um, my son and Dorian, my other daughter. It's disgusting that these people think that they can just treat people like me any old way. That's not tough love. That's abuse. Have a blessed day and God bless America.